Back in 1899, the New York Sun newspaper had been devoting the better part of the page of its Sunday edition to the discussion of the truth of Christianity. On Sunday, November 19, 1899, the New York Sun printed a letter from one W.R. Laughlin in which he denounced Christianity using the old oft-refuted arguments and challenged some champion of orthodoxy to come into the arena of the Sun and give its readers some facts in defense of the Christian religion. Ivan Panin answered this letter with some remarkable facts. In the book of Matthew, the first 17 verses of the New Testament contain the genealogy of the Christ. It consists of two main parts. Verses 1 through 11 cover the period from Abraham, the father of the chosen people, to the captivity, when they ceased as an independent people. Verses 12 through 17 cover the period from the captivity to the promised deliverer, the Christ. Let us examine the first part of this genealogy. The number of words used is 49. The total number of letters is 266. The number of words beginning with a vowel is 28. The number of words beginning with a consonant is 21. The total number of vowels is 140. The total number of consonants is 126. And words that occur more than once is 35. The words that occur only once are 14. The words that occur in one form are 42. Words that occur in more than one form are 7. The number of nouns are 42. Words that are not nouns are 7. The number of compound nouns are 7. Letters in the compound nouns are 49. The number of letters in the city's name Babylon is 7. The use of proper names is 63. The number of male names is 28. The use of male names is 56. The names not specifically male are 7. The letters in all three female names are 14. And the number of proper names are 35. All of these are multiples of 7. All of these conditions have been met in the Greek in the genealogy of Jesus Christ in the first 11 verses of the Gospel of Matthew. Greek is very rigid. Every Greek verb has to meet five conditions, therefore it's more structured than our English language. The chances of multiples of seven. The odds for nine of these features taking place would be seven to the ninth power, which would equate to 40,353,607. If it took you 10 minutes per draft and you work 40 hours a week for 50 weeks per year, it would take you over 3,000 years to accomplish this task by random trials. The odds for 21 of these features to take place would be over 558 quadrillion. But what if I gave you 34 of these, which is over 54 octillion? If you had 1 million supercomputers each doing 400 million tries per second, it would still take 4.3 million years. Keep in mind that's with only 34 distinctive features of 7. Dr. Ivan Panin identified 75 features in the book of Matthew alone. Now let's take a look at Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 through 25. The words used are 161. Words occurring in different form are 105. The vocabulary used is 77. And the words of the angel. The words used by the angel are 28. The forms used are 35. And the gematria of vocabulary is 52,605, all multiples of 7. What is especially noteworthy here is the fact that the angel's speech also has a scheme of sevens, making it a kind of ring within a ring, a wheel within a wheel. The second chapter of Matthew tells of the childhood of Jesus. The vocabulary used is 161, the number of letters is 896, the forms of words used is 238, the grammatical value of the forms is 166,985, the grammatical value of the vocabulary is 123,529, and the proper names used is 35, all multiples of 7. There is not, however, a single paragraph of the scores in Matthew that is not constructed in exactly the same manner. 
only with each additional paragraph the difficulty of constructing it increases not in arithmetical but in geometrical progression. For he contrives to write numeric relations to what goes before and after. Thus, in his last chapter, he contrives to use just seven words not used by him before. But how he contrived to do it between the crucifixion, and his gospel could not have been written earlier, and the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, and the gospel could not have been written later. Another fact is yet more important. There are vocabularies that are unique to Matthew. The words that are found nowhere else in the New Testament are 42, and the total number of letters is 126, and these are just a couple of the examples, and these are all multiples of seven. But how did Matthew know when designing the scheme for these words, whose sole characteristic is that they are found nowhere else in the New Testament, that they would not be found in the other 26 books? that they would not be used by the other seven New Testament writers. Unless we assume the impossible hypothesis that he had an agreement with them to that effect, he must have had the rest of the New Testament before him when he wrote his book. The Gospel of Matthew, then, was written last. It so happens, however, that the Gospel of Mark shows the very same phenomena which will be discussed in a separate video. Also, Luke presents the same phenomena as Matthew and Mark, and so does John and James and Peter and Jude and Paul. And we have thus no longer two great unheard of mathematical literati, but eight of them, and each wrote after the other. Proverbs 25.2 says, It is the glory of God to conceal the matter, and the glory of kings to search it out. Dr. Ivan Panin searched these things out, and God revealed these things to him so he could share it with others. Thank you.